Hey guys and welcome back to The Walking Dead. This is part two. And when we left off, uh, Larry had some trouble with his heart. Uh, but we're going to be searching around this uh, convenience store. Let's take that energy bar. I'm going to give one to uh, Clem. I'm just going to carry on searching for a little bit. There's another energy bar. You, sir, are not having an energy bar. There's a third energy bar. Fuck the apocalypse, because we have got uh, energy bars. Let's give one to a uh, duck. We can't let it's not much but here for the board. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. <laughs> okay. I'll just talk to Kenny while we're here. Hey, Lee. Really gave that old man hell. Yeah. We got pushed, you know. You don't have to tell me. I was ready to tear the man's head off. Anyway, we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. <laughs> That's okay. But, how's Duck doing? How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. Little kid. How's she doing? Uh... Her family's dead. Well, her family's dead, so... That's awful, Lee. Yeah, well... She seems to be handling herself all right. She's just a little girl, Ken. Lee says she spent days on her own. That takes toughness. But you have no idea what sort of emotional damage is happening to her every second her family is gone. You two seem to be having problems. Are you guys alright? Are you guys alright? Well, we're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. So what's the plan, guys? What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so... We ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? Uh... I think I'm gonna be honest and say they own this place. They, uh, own this place. They're gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but yeah, they did. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? He happened pretty fast. It happened pretty fast, I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. We can't kill ourselves. Over we him. killed that boy. We could have saved him together. We did what we could. Bad things happened. We didn't make a choice that killed John. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Try to let it go. Damn, Lee, that was uh, deep and insightful. Okay, let's go in uh, quickly. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. Shit, I'll come around the wrong way of the counter. While we're around this way, let's talk to Carly. You're not having a bar. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. Oh, what are you working on? What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. Okay. So the volume's not going to make much difference if the power's not on. <sighs> Nothing. Okay, so the volume's definitely gonna not make any difference. Ah, the battery. Bet there's none in. <laughs> there are no batteries in this thing. What now? 
Do you know that there are no batteries in that thing? Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. <laughs> Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. Carly, I'm going to save you. In, uh, in fact, have this bar. Here. I've been finding some stuff to eat. Oh, uh, thanks. You're welcome. Are you sure your girl doesn't need it? Oh, uh, yeah, she might, I suppose. Yeah, give it to her. I can take care of myself. Okay. Jeez. I was gonna keep you around for the comedic relief, but you got pretty serious. Gotta look for batteries as well now. I, thought, I think I see more. Yeah. Yeah, a battery. I'm pretty sure as I was coming around this way earlier, uh, I saw one on the far wall. Try to get some rest, huh? How can I with those there it is. things out there? Okay. I'm gonna come and give you your batteries. There you go. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. And here's another one. Should be able to get up to work now. Okay, I'm gonna leave you to it. Here, claim off this uh, bar. It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. Let's see how uh, Clem's doing. Hey there. Hi. Can I get you anything? Can I uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. Still, huh? Yeah, it wasn't much. I know, Clem. I'll see if I can find something else for you. We, yeah, that's a good idea, actually. We should get to know so, each other. So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh... I'm good. <laughs> that's good. Yeah, I, I think so. Uh, being good is good, despite the circumstances. Yep. Any word from Glenn? Any word from Glenn? Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. We'll sit tight. Okay. Okay. Have you got this uh, radio fixed yet? Hey, Carly. It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. <coughs> Go ahead. Hmm. Let's just try the power. Nothing. No. Let's turn it back around. Okay. I didn't think that would do anything, bruh. The only thing I think he said she put the batteries in the wrong way. <laughs> she has as well. God damn it. That's why women need us men around. As the you fixed it. Continues to spread unchecked. The estimated death toll continues to skyrocket. WABE urges okay, you to Okay, I'll just leave you to that. Avoid any contact with individuals you suspect. Go and have a look out the back. The station is okay. In the event of a full uh, uh, my my producer's telling me we have to get off the air. Steve. Uh, WABE wishes you and your love. Damn, that's how many bad at the radio tower. Fuck, Lee. I can't. I can't think about them in here. Shit. I think there's a family portrait on the floor.
Find anything? Uh, no, nothing. No, nothing. I know who you are. You do? You're Lee Everett. You're a professor Fuck. at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? Uh, I'm gonna lie and say no. No. I've been sticking to first names for a reason. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good, because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Uh, I'm just gonna say thanks, just to keep her on side. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Damn, I smell a love story coming on. But uh, we got more pressing matters to begin on with. The pallets. What's that? This was my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you and your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. Damn right. Okay, let's uh, rummage through this desk. Better get this door clear, huh? Maybe not. Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. <clears throat> you don't need anything, right? You don't need anything, right? No. I get hungry a lot. Okay, good to know. And. You don't have any allergies or anything I should know about, right? Don't kids have allergies or asthma or just general maladies? My friend Alfred has a peanut allergy. <laughs> but you're cool? I think so. Okay, here we go. <sighs> Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? Uh, what do your parents do, Clem? What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Those are good jobs. What's your job? I, uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like, um, social studies? Yeah, like Damn, that. she's small. You didn't answer my question. All right, a little further. <laughs> She's also persistent. <sighs> Gotta give her that. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? I hope not. It's just complicated. I hope not. It's just complicated, that's all. Why? It just is. But you love them, right? Yeah, of course. Look, my family's gone, and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I'm not a bad guy. I'm not a bad guy, okay? Things happen, and we didn't talk much after that. My parents don't talk to me when I get in trouble. I can relate. Ow! What? Shit. Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. I'll find you a bandage. 
Uh, ah, first aid kit. Don't put it in your pocket, Lee. She needs it on her finger. Let's have a look at that finger. Ow. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. There you go. That opened the drill. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? Uh, they'll find us. They'll, uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. Well, we should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? Good girl, Clem. Search the drawer. It's the remote to my dad's TV. Ah, <laughs> let's uh, watch some Netflix. That's what I figured. Yeah, dad didn't renew his Netflix uh, subscription there. Okay. It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're going to help Larry. Hmm. Well, we've s searched the first aid box. The uh, the drawers. Nothing in those cupboards. Okay, I think we're pretty much done in here. Wanna head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I... Uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? Uh... It's complicated. It's complicated. Sometimes things happen or you do things and you can't explain them. Let's uh, head back to the others. I wonder if that story's true about Lee killing a man. He doesn't really seem like the type, but I guess if you catch your uh, your lady in bed with another man, that's not going to go down too well. So we've searched all in here. See what Doug's got to offer here. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. <laughs> you no, damn right. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. I think I'll give it a miss till so, later. Uh, let's go have a look around. Cool, and we'll keep it down. Shit, I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> Agreed. Oh, God. There's a load of them. He just eat. As far as I can tell, he's all the care. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. Okay, while we're out here, we might as well take a look around. Electronics warehouse. Ah, I take it. I can't reach that brick. The it's like two foot away. Ask Doug. Okay, let's not ask him anything at the mini. Ah, the remote control icon. Think you can do anything with this? <coughs> I used to fiddle around with stuff like that when I was a kid, but there's not much to do with it now. Man, I miss my robots. 
You're a strange guy, Doug. I know. He's strange, but uh, I kind of like him having on my team. Ah, TV's in the electrical warehouse. If it's a universal control, we may be in with luck. No. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? It's universal. Ah. I program it to work with those TVs across the street. I just hope the power is still on. You can just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Damn right. Already hasn't. I got a few of them to take notice. But not enough. I already said it's because there's no ESPN. And those look like they're coming for us. Are you really sure you can't pick this brick up, Lee? Can't reach that brick. Seriously? Fuck. Let's have a conversation with Doug. How'd you end up here? How'd you end up here? I moved here to live with my uncle. He does tech stuff and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months and I spend a lot of time on the computer. No, just doing my own thing. What about you? Uh. 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 I should kind of lie just so people don't get to know about my story. I just ended up here. I just sort of ended up here. Oh, cool. You've got that little girl with you. Yeah, I'm just taking care of her. Nothing else out of, uh, The control for the lock. Ah. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there and get... Them. Shit, that's Lee's brother. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Use the remote. Open sesame. <laughs> that won't work. I was kidding. Universal, but not that universal. I know, Doug. Okay, Doug, take a break. I can't reach that brick. Fuck. Let's just head back, head back inside. Okay. God knows that was a waste of time. Unless there's something I'm missing. I want to find out more about Carly. Hey there. Are you ready to head out? Why would he be asking her that? Let's see if she's okay first. That radio sign off didn't sound too good. Are you okay? I'm fine. You don't have to be. You don't have to be. It's traumatic. I'm sure some people got out. Maybe they're all being rescued. Then again, maybe not. Oh, well, I'm curious to find out why Lee wants to head out. Head out where exactly? You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Let's go. I'm curious. Ah, the motel. Shit. Get down! He's no way glimmered. Did 
Did you see that? Sure did. Be ready to shoot. Guys! Oh, man. I'm glad you're here. Jesus, Glenn! then wasn't so hard. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go. Now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas. And then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A couple almost got me, and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her, with or without you. Think about it if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. Damn Carly can be a bitch. I like this, uh, the way the camera's panning. So we got a zombie there, one there, and there was one more cough somewhere. Okay, this is the plan. We don't know how hard it's going to be to get her out of that room. Yeah, it's boarded up. So we have to kill every one of them in here quietly. Noise attracts these things. Now let's have a look around. Okay. Okay guys, so I should pretty much say <coughs> at this point that uh, I've tried to record this part uh, numerous times and every time I get to the door to the uh, the girl um, I have uh, the Walking Dead 101.exe has now stopped working uh, I've tested it one more time um, had to uh, make a new file in the uh, the actual Walking Dead folder. Uh, if you want more information about that, I'll probably put a, um, a bit of a description in the link below how to do that if you guys are having trouble yourself. But um, yes, yeah, so um, I basically know what happens here, so I'm just going to quickly go through it. <laughs> we got to pick up the pillow. Good luck smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. Now uh, we head over towards the right. Now pretty much from like where they went with this, um, we use a pillar as a suppressor Get on this Sunday. But the noise. Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. That was sick! <laughs> okay, head inside the car here. Spark plug off the chair. Well, seat, I should say. <laughs> and uh, unlock the gear shift. Spark plug. You should hold on to that. Come in handy. We're going to turn this zombie into a squishy mess. That was awesome. That was awesome, Glenn. Glad my uh, efforts are appreciated here. <laughs> now we used the spark plug here, which uh, I kind of wondered where the spark plug would help us, but here we go. Wait. Let me see the spark plug. Inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. <laughs> that could scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. 
Now apparently as well the uh, choices I make while speaking to the uh, girl has some sort of factors in why um, the Walking Dead 101.exe stops working so I'm kind of having to choose um, different options that you'll probably see in just a short while This is also good the way uh, he whistles the uh, zombie. And that leaves our final zombie. Let's trade in this screwdriver for the uh, axe. Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice big sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Are you two done? Two more. That should help. Okay, so the options I went for when he crashed was um, I asked the girl to come with me. Um, she refused. She wanted the gun. I told her she, sh she couldn't have the gun. And uh, basically, that's where he crashed when Carly says we've got to get out, out of here. But um, I'm going to try a different option than what the option that I. Uh Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay, we'll be right behind you. Yeah, I'm going <coughs> to um, pick the option that actually let me pass. Hope the hope the uh, the whole game isn't like this because I'd rather make my own decisions. Unless I do try doing it again here, but um, probably going to be a waste of time. guys in a minute if you open up we can take you somewhere safer we've got a group in town no, no, no. she's in trouble no. miss we're coming in use that fucking axe stop just stop I'm coming out Oh God! I, I said, stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you. I said, go away. I'm bit. But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die, and and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend, Lynn. I don't want that. It's not Christian. <laughs> please, just leave me. Please go. Okay, I'm going to choose the other options that made the game crash. Uh, come with us. Come with us. We will find you some help. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just... You know, end this, and then, and then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please, I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. You can't have the gun. We can't let you do that to yourself. Then do it for me. We need to get going. Give it to me, please. This is crazy. Please, step back. It's just two seconds, just one bullet. And I can be with my family, and it'll all be fine. Miss. Back up! Please! What the? Whoa. Okay, I didn't get that far before. <laughs> Whoa, 
take it easy. We just want to help. You can't. Miss, just relax now. Fuck. You need to think this through. We'll find you a doctor. It'll be okay. Let's all just... No, no! no! Fuck. Boy. <laughs> oh, God. Let's get out of here. Yeah, that's a good choice to make. Shit! Here they come! Get in! Everyone all right? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine and... Well, yeah, we're okay. I've got a few canes of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. Okay, so obviously it worked that time. Uh, so I apologize. But um, still, I can still give you the information below in the description in case you guys have been having the same problems. Um, I tried everything from um, basically uh, changing around the compatibility mode uh, to <coughs> turning off the windows contrast I think it was or something like that um, inside the, uh, the game's directory but nothing worked but I made a uh, text file using wordpad uh, with a set of numbers in named steam app ID I think it was as I say um, I'm just rambling on a bit here um, let's carry on with the game I'll leave all that in the description for you guys I'm just sorry that I had to let's play like that during that segment because um, I really was shocked at a lot of things we had to do to the zombies but uh, yeah let's talk to Glenn here how you doing Glenn? you know back at the motor in back at the motor in how can it be that bad so fast? You know when things are taken away, people do crazy shit. I guess. That's not me. I'm not giving up. Not for anything. Good, man. Good. I guess you really wanted that gun. Seems like. Why didn't you tell Carly to just give it to her? People can't be giving up People here. can't be giving up. This will pass. I'm with you. Glad to hear it. Uh, do you know the combination to the lock outside? Do you know the combination for the lock on the gate outside? Why? Oh, you know, I thought I'd go stretch my legs. You're probably better off breaking it if you have to. What's your next move? What's your next move? I don't know. I mean, you guys seem okay. What about your family? Yeah, I... I... Forget it, man. That's your business. I hate feeling like I can't do anything. I know the feeling, man. Try to get some rest. Huh. <laughs> yeah, right. Hmm. So we got an axe now anyway, so... Um, probably all good for... Uh, getting that brick or uh, at least running across to grab the keys. How we doing? Good. Wanna go have a look around outside? Hell yeah. Let's have a look around. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Now to distract those things. Carefully. Okay, so now we hopefully we can grab the brick. I can't reach that brick. Are you fucking kidding me? Now can you? Let's uh, throw it at this glass. Should set off an alarm, I think. At least you'd think so.
no alarm, but the uh, zombies seem to like the TVs. Now's the time. Look at them all there, uh, smothering the cells over here. Let's go get the keys. Be careful. Keep an eye out, will you? Holy shit. We haven't got to do this. Oh man. Oh fuck, once was enough. Jesus. God. Gates still open. Man, that was close. But we did it. It's all that matters. Damn right. It's a goddamn shame he had to do that. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. Okay, guys. So uh, we're full of suspense and all that, but um. I'm gonna end it right here. Um, as I say, guys, I'm gonna leave a description below how you can fix your Walking Dead if you haven't already. Um, it's quite a few methods. People say that their method works, but this method that I used worked for me. Um, you're probably not understanding what I'm saying, but still, um, hope you've enjoyed this episode, nonetheless. Um, so yeah. I'll see you next time. I've been Toxic Ninja. Stay toxic.